In this demonstration, I'm going to tell you how to create a host-only network on VirtualBox. So what is a host-only network? It is a network wherein the virtual machines are connected using a virtual Ethernet adapter. And these machines can communicate with each other, but they will not be accessible on the internet. It is an isolated private network and it's a virtual network. So why we go in for such a setup is in uh, cyber security testing, we may be in need of setting up highly vulnerable machines for testing. So we can't expose such machines to the outside world. So we have to go and create an isolated private network for all our testings. So this is very useful in that uh, scenario. So, so I'm going to tell you how to configure a host only network on VirtualBox. So I have my virtual box here. I have uh, Ubuntu and Kali Linux installed on my virtual box. So these two virtual machines are connected using the NAT network. We have seen how to create a virtual network using NAT network in our previous video. If you go and take a look at the settings, under the network tab, we can see this is connected to the NAT network. And likewise, Kali Linux, if you go and take a look at the settings under the machines tab, when you go to network, you can see it's connected to the NAT network. So each virtual machine can in turn access the internet by using the host. Let's go and check whether we are able to access the internet here. Yes, this virtual machine is able to access the internet. Likewise, let us check this one. And this virtual machine is also able to connect to the internet. These two machines are exposed to the internet and we can't have such a setting for setting up a highly vulnerable virtual machine. So in that case, uh, how to prevent this? We'll go with an host only network. The very first step in creating a host only network is go to your virtual box manager, go to global tools and click on network. And here you click on create host only network. And then click on yes. So this is creating that virtual switch to which all your virtual machines will be connected. And you enable a DHCP server so that IP addresses are automatically configured for your virtual machines on this network. You can go and change these settings if you want, but we'll go with the default. It's fine. So we have created a virtual box host only Ethernet adapter here, or you can say that it's a virtual switch. So after this, what we are going to do is we are going to go to our machines, each independent machine, and connect it to that switch. We'll go to machine settings on Ubuntu. We'll go to network and then we'll select host only adapter and we'll select this option virtual box host only ethernet adapter click ok likewise let us go to our kali linux let's go to machine settings go to network and select host only adapter and select this option this is the virtual switch that we have created. Click on OK. So now both these machines are connected using the host only network. We can go and check the IP addresses of these machines. So the IP address for Ubuntu is 192.168.217.3.
and the IP address for Kali Linux is 192.168.217.4 as I told you these systems will not be exposed to the internet now let's go and check whether we are able to access Google see now our internet connection is lost on Kali Linux let's go and check Ubuntu so these two machines uh, cannot connect to the internet now can they really talk to each other so I have an Apache uh, 2 running here and I'm another Apache 2 server running here let me give the IP addresses and let me try to invoke the applications so let me give the IP address of this system here so the IP address of this system is 192.168.217.3 let me copy that and let me give that here okay so this application is actually currently running on an apache 2 web server on ubuntu and i'm able to access uh, this application from my kali linux so there is a communication between these two servers on the network likewise let me go and take this ip address this ip address of kali linux and uh, try and check whether I'm able to access the Apache 2 web server here. Yeah. So what this uh, demonstration tells us is when we connect virtual machines on a host only network, they'll not be able to access internet. They are not exposed to the outside world, but each machine will be able to communicate with each other. So that is host only network. I hope you have understood the demo.